All right, let's do this one now. Some integrals are very uh, challenging, and so sometimes we'd, we'd just be happy knowing whether they're finite or infinite, whether they converge or diverge. Other times, a picture is invaluable. Uh, here, I try to make a picture of what we're doing here. We're trying to find the area under the curve um, f of x, which is equal to 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x. It turns out that this is a really, really famous expression. As my x's get larger and larger and larger, this number tends towards e, the famous uh, order number 2.71828, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so this, the tail end of that integral, as I don't know what happens at the beginning, but some something may happen at the beginning, but as it gets really, really, really far away, it will exhibit a horizontal asymptote near uh, that approximates e. And so what we're talking about is finding the area from 1 and going all the way all the way to infinity to infinity but after some point m you know I don't care what happened here this piece is finite from 1 to some point m but after some point m this integral looks like the integral from m to infinity of e this is what this one behaves like it behaves like just adding e you know a curve a, a rectangle that is e in tallness and infinitely wide of course, this is going to give you infinite. And so, um, again, we, I made a comment like this earlier. If this function doesn't even go to zero, if it goes to some number like e, there is no hope of it ever being finite because you're going to be adding an infinitely long area that's just flat out the tallness is e. So, based on that, I can say I can say something like this. I can say. Um, just put it all together into a nice, well-articulated thought. 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x goes towards e squared. I meant e squared, by the way, everywhere here. e squared. Um, therefore, the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 plus 2 over x to the x uh, is equal to um, you know, some number here at the beginning integral from 1 to m 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x dx plus the integral for from m to infinity 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x dx where where this integral behaves like is approximately depending if you get really really large M's. In fact, you could bind it. You can make this a lot more rigorous if you wanted to. But it's approximately m to infinity of e squared dx. Therefore, this clearly diverges. Even though this piece is finite from one to some m, after some point, this will be within epsilon of e squared. There's no hope. It will, the tail end. This is called the tail end of the integral. Will behave like e to the square, and it will be really, really infinite. Okay. That's how you handle problems like that observe if this doesn't go to zero there's no hope you can stop there if it goes to some other number if it, the limit is some other number all right we'll come back for some more excellent examples